Good morning and welcome to the morning show with Angel and Tina. We are so excited to have you all joining us today to look at this beautiful roundup of guests that we have joining us here today. We are featuring some of the speakers who are going to be joining us next week on the Connect Summit. Tina, how are you doing? Doing fabulous. It is cold here in North Carolina. I could have sworn I was going to wake up to a blanket of snow, but it's not. But I have like my sweater on, I have my fuzzy socks on, and I'm not like a cold person. I mean, I'm not like a cold person. I'm, I'm always hot. I like the cold. But when I woke up this morning, I was like, whoo. But we have some amazing people. Our Connect Summit 10 is next Tuesday. So we wanted to bring all of our speakers on here to give you guys a little glimpse of what you guys are going to get next week. Um, Angel, any news? On my house? Yeah. On my house? Yeah, a little, well, okay, I, I guess there's always news, there's always news, um, but we are, we are the backup offer for our dream house, and there's a current offer on the, on the table that looks like it's going to fall through, in fact, our realtor sent us a text this morning <laughs> with fireworks, and it falls through, right, with fireworks, of, um, you're just hoping this guy just doesn't show up, he changes his mind, and doesn't want, doesn't want to live in my house, so, <laughs> <laughs> claim it girl claim it claim that house well today is December 1st do you know what that means it's Tina's birthday month <laughs> anybody else here have a December birthday or a birthday that falls around a holiday oh see feel. those or of you guys who do have a December birthday know what I'm talking about my birthday is December 30th five days after Christmas everybody is not home everybody forgets about my birthday so when it does fall I said, when I started getting older, I'm like, I'm celebrating all month long. And I'm so glad that our amazing producer just showed up because I got a gift in the mail that blew my socks off. This little girl here, this little girl here. <laughs> <laughs> so our, little, our amazing producer, Zondra Evans, got this little thank you card in the mail telling us thank you for being one of her producers. And I got this amazing journal in the mail, in the mail. Never give up because great things take time. I love it. It's so pretty. So thank you. I was going to give you a shout out to you. I'm glad you showed up when you did. You're welcome. You're welcome. I get little gifts in the mail every single day. And I got these little Kate Spade earrings in the mail yesterday. I have no idea who I got them from. So Tina, when you were younger, did you ever celebrate half birthdays because you were so close to Christmas? No, we didn't have half birthdays years ago. They only started coming out like now. So June 30th is my half birthday. So maybe I should start selling half birthday. That's what my daughter's birthday is the 27th of this month. So she's half two days after Christmas. Yes. Yeah. And no matter how hard you say, oh, it won't get merged together. Like all my siblings are like, oh, we'll just buy one big gift for her. And I'm like, no, please don't do that. They just get lazy. They get lazy. So, well, and that's what it was. It was, hey, this is your Christmas and birthday. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. How come she gets a Christmas one and on her birthday? And I only get a Christmas birthday. Right. And then I get birthday presents wrapped in Christmas wrapping paper <laughs> because they can't go out and buy birthday wrapping paper. I'm like, no, I want Christmas. I want birthday wrapping paper. <laughs> But yeah. I did have a son who was born December 20th. So it, you know, our whole, that whole week is like a big party for us. So like you, I make sure that his birthday, that we celebrate his birthday all the time. Yeah. His birthday is the 28th and then mine's the 30th. But you've got to get gypped when you have a birthday like that. Yeah. Right, we so try to celebrate a week out, like a case? week after with her or, and we still do it at the end of June as well. And she okay. loves it. You know, I mean. Okay. Angel, I think I might change Tina, in, in, case, in case I forget to tell you later, we had a really good time tonight and happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and here, here's your Christmas and birthday Christmas present um, all wrapped in one. <laughs> well, and so we're, we're kind of, we're kind of doing the same thing to her again this year though, because on December 30th, her birthday is our 200th episode of the Angel and Tina Morning Show. So wow. we got to figure that out. Like I was going through the calendar. I said, oh, we need to do a 200th episode. I said, we've got to do an A&T Award a show. I said, let me see what day. And I was counting the days. I was like, okay, we're going to take off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of Thanksgiving. We're going to take off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for Christmas. And I was like, oh, 
our 200th episode is on the 30th. And she's like, oh, okay. And I was like, that's my birthday. <laughs> so we're bundling in her birthday to something else again. Yeah. It's again. Just, it is, yeah, we're bundling <laughs> it in. Because then I can celebrate with 200 people on Zoom. They're all here for her party. For my party. To celebrate her. Well, ladies, it is all ladies um, on it's the screen ladies. today. We do have, uh, you know, we, you know, when we, we put the Connect Summit together, we are actually getting ready to host our 10th Connect Summit of 2020. We do have gentlemen that participate, but at the moment, it's all these fabulous ladies on the screen. These are most of the speakers. It's this ladies night and I'm feeling right. Most of the speakers that will be this on our Facebook. joining us. Um, and so we wanted to bring them on just to introduce you to them. Some folks maybe you're familiar with, some new faces. It's also, um, you know, for those of you who realize that today is December 1st, means that yesterday was the last day of the month. And so the end of the month, it's always a long night if you've got some sales goals and and milestones that you are trying to hit. So I just want to say a special thank you to Miss Sarah for being here with uh -huh. us this morning. Uh, last night was a big day a, or a, a big night, a whole yeah. big month for you. Do you well, want to? The year has been out? big for this girl. Yeah. As, as we started the Angel and Tina morning show and we started bringing people on and people were saying, oh yeah, we, we're in this company and we're one of the top earners. We're like, oh wow. And I'm like, are you getting things like all these people are with the same company? And then we find out all of these amazing people are underneath you. Right. And I was like, <laughs> what is this girl doing? So last night, you guys hit a huge milestone. Huge. We did. Yeah, we did. What was this number? But you know what, though? It's like the, it's like the 23-year-old, like, overnight success story. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I've been in direct sales and network marketing for 23 years. So like, you know, I think like anything, see all the amazing stuff that's happening, but they have no idea all the years of grinding yeah. and all the ups and downs and all the, you know, incredible days and extremely sad days. Right. And, and all of that. And so it's just been really cool just to see just this whole evolution over the last 23 years and last month was like, or last night was crazy. I mean, my husband and I, we woke up, we were, just, we were crying. We we're just like, is this like really what's happening? Um, but you know, it's like, if you sow good seeds, it's eventually going to fall on the right people. And if you're patient and if you are willing to just do the work and um, you know, it, it, it can happen and it happened for us. I mean, we had a great month. I mean, we finished at almost 20 million. In revenue last month and oh my gosh I mean, yeah. that is like <laughs> awesome yeah but but you know but i don't look at it like it could be a it could be a million dollar month or a 20 million dollar month it's the same for me because i still do the same work like people think that what you do di i don't do anything different you know what i mean i think that's the thing people don't realize is that compounding effect right mm -hmm. and so but it's just doing the things you need to do to consistently grow your business, whatever field you're in, right? And it's and it's that compounding piece, and it's compounding now for us. So um, I think that's Sarah, the good thing too. I it's love how I love how you celebrated um, because I think that's just a season of life that we are all in. We asked Sarah, "What did you do last night to celebrate?" Do you want to share? Well, I have two little kids. I mean, I have a five-year-old and an eight-year-old, and then I had this business and. I, you know, I'm married to another kid. So I have three kids and I mean, I, I went to bed. Like I was like, I'm going to, I was so tired. Like, like, and it was awesome. I was, I was excited. You know, I like, I did a big celebration cheer and I jumped in my bed and that was it. So it's kind of uh, like way back in the day. And I'm not going to say my age, but you know, way back in the day on new year's Eve, you'd be like, yeah, party it's 12 o'clock. And you still yeah. go until like four o'clock in the morning. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now it's like, you can barely like keep awake until 11 59 and then as soon as you're like it hits 12 o'clock you're like happy new year good night <laughs> right <laughs> oh yeah well i want to give i want to give a little update um from what happened yesterday on yesterday's show we had marla lackey on with her book faith in a tube of lipstick we actually had two fabulous guests on we also had chelsea collie um but marla's book yesterday um, she uh, hit the number one bestseller in wow. 
um, was a number one new release. She ended up in the night in the top 3,000 of all of Amazon. So we were, now to put that in comparison, Michelle Obama's book, Becoming, was like in the top 17,000. So Marla's book yesterday, she is actually on par to hit the New York Times bestseller. So this woman, like we were like up late, like you, Sarah, looking at things and tracking things. And we were, yeah, keeping up and celebrating, of course, you know, and at the end of it, we both were exhausted and crying and all of that. It's good night. Yeah, it was. So that was very exciting. So she is on a huge streak this week um, in order to be a New York Times bestseller. I, mean, well, I always tell my clients it's 5,000 books for 12 weeks, see? but it's it's selling books and it's selling a lot of books. Well, that girl is selling a lot of books right now. It's called Faith in a Tube of Lipstick. Go and grab it on Amazon. Buy, buy 50 copies and give them to your um like home hospice cares and even that is, it's a great book to give to your mom you great know? for moms but now yeah. we want bulk purchases yeah, right? Right? Like, it's a great gift to give to your mom or somebody who was like your mom or your sister because it's such a great story and, and when she told us the story and that description we even said it last night our media mastery that description in on amazon it was just heart wrenching and it makes you want to buy another book and you already have one <laughs> well I'm I just think that you know listening to Sarah's story watching watching Marla's success even all of these all of these guests here on on the show today there's a lot to celebrate right now and I think what the world needs is to hear these stories of hope and encouragement and support we are so excited to be bringing you our 10th Connect Summit. These are, these are people who have been with us for the entire year to, to just lock arms and build each other up. It's been, an, it's been an amazing year. So I wanna go around and introduce introduce our speakers for the Connect Summit next week. Of course, if you haven't registered, you can go on to Eventbrite and find the Connect Virtual Summit. It's our 10th event on Tuesday, December 8th from 1 to 7 p.m. Eastern time. Tickets are free. They are complimentary for you to attend and you get to spend the entire day, the entire day with us and these fabulous, these fabulous experts and entrepreneurs and speakers and authors. But as you introduce yourself, I, I guess, is there something, like did you hit a milestone? Did you, um, you know, something you're celebrating, something new, what you're excited about? This is, because I think, I think there's a lot to celebrate and this is our moment to like wave that flag and 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 share it share it with this share it with this audience tina do you want to start do you want to no uh, i don't want to start i want to hear from all these amazing people i'm going to change my view so i can look at all these beautiful ladies here but yes tell us one thing that you did this year that you never thought would happen and then let us know a little bit about what who you are and what you're going to be teaching on the Connect Summit and Wendy, Dr. Dr. Wendy Levine, we're gonna start with you just in case we ha- we're get some technical difficulties at the end. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you so much. I hope I don't have any technical difficulties. It seems like every time it's time for me to say something, my internet goes out. But I, I'm happy to be here with all these fabulous ladies and Sarah, congratulations on your milestone feat. Um, but I wanted to just talk about, uh, well, our, I got my book written finally and published in September. And I ended up, you know, I'm a bestseller and the number one new release. Yay. And I've been getting some positive feedback from the people that are reading it. People are actually reading the book, you know, because sometimes you buy a book just to have it. I know I'm guilty of that in some it's, areas. It's on the show. <laughs> yeah. But I'll be talking about, and another thing, I got my first royalty check from Amazon for the book. I'm like, hey, this is really, you know, some money's coming in from it. Um, But I'm going to be talking about the six obstacles to winning the money game. And one of them is proper protection to prevent financial ruin. And since this is open enrollment for the Affordable Care Act and Medicare, Medicare enrollment ends December 7th. Uh, but the, for the open, enro- open enrollment for the Affordable Care Act ends December 15th. And I am, I don't know, it's just people have been sending me folks. I already have a big book of business, but I've got people that 
you know, one lady I talked to this morning, I said, well, okay, if you know anybody needs coverage, we got till December 15th. And she said, Wendy, I've been asking people and they say, I already got covered. And they said, well, who you have it to? And they said, I got it through Wendy LeBond. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that means I'm hitting folks in that area. But I have the city of Savannah has uh, made me their go-to person for insurance. And that's been, I don't know how that came. I've got, you know, a lot of clients in Savannah. And then the... Um, and this is one I, I guess I'm kind of proud of. I don't know how I got connected, but the drug court of Cherokee County in Georgia, I'm the go-to person because they require health insurance for all the people as part of their program. And I've been enrolled like 10, 15 people a week just from that program. And I'm just happy to get people covered, you know, with the COVID going on, people need to be covered. And I just got off of a webinar and they asked, are you wrapped or unwrapped? They say, are you wrapped? Is your health wrapped? Are your finances wrapped? Or are they unwrapped? And I'm like, that sounds good. I like that. I'm going to use that. So if you're wrapped, you've got coverage. If you're unwrapped, then you're wide open, no coverage. So think about it. Are you wrapped or unwrapped with your health care coverage, your uh, retirement? Is your money wrapped? Do you have a key man plan for your business? Just look at the areas in your life to just see if they are wrapped or unwrapped. So if you need to get wrapped, just let me know. I'll be glad to help you. I like that. I like that. And so our next person here is our wonderful producer of the Angel and Tina Morning Show, as well as my amazing friend. Her and I have had some really long conversations, intense conversations. And there's sometimes we just call each other and complain and sometimes we just call each other and laugh and sometimes we just call each other and just listen <laughs> but Zondra Evans thank you so much for being for coming on today and for being the producer of the Angel and Tina Morning Show as well yeah, yeah. well thank you thank you thank you I'm always happy to be here uh, with both you and Angel, Tina, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I can, another Connect Summit. So I'm just like, I remember the first one. And so here we are saying 10, but then y'all saying 200 episodes. I'm like, y'all are blazing the trail in reference to episodes, but you do it every day. So you've been doing it a long time. So congratulations on that. Um, but you know, I guess there's so many milestones. There's so many things that happened in 2020 that it's kind of hard for me to choose, but I'll choose this one today because today is December 1st, and this is our first day of being a commercial advertisement on Hulu. So, <laughs> so um, we got invited uh, to be a part of the beta test uh, for small business to be on Hulu and advertise. And so we've got a really, really awesome commercial out there. It's a smash up of many of the shows from Tracy Boone's show to my shows and different people. And so um, I'm gonna post it on social media just so that people can see what people are seeing on Hulu. So that, that's, that's, a, that's a big deal because I never thought I'd be on Hulu. So uh, we're on Hulu. And then um, I guess the other thing is, is that just God bless me with 12 producers uh, during this pandemic to work with. And lo and behold, we've got 12, actually 15 uh, people for 2021 on the waiting list. So the incubator, the TV media incubator continues and we're continuing to build, uh, you know, great producers and develop great content that really is helping uh, change and kind of shape and form uh, people's mindset to live the life that they deserve. So that is mine. And I'm going to be talking about the power of a digital footprint. Uh, given everything that we know today and everything that has happened in this pandemic, uh, it will not be the only pandemic. There will be something else. But I really want uh, small business entrepreneurs to understand the power of your digital footprint. Um, I think a lot of times we just think about social platform. It's much more than that. And so the people's goals in 2021 needs, you know, is, need to be focused on changing that. And I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. So that's it. And she always brings like, she always brings like the most amazing content. But really what got to me, Sandra, is that you told us your goal in April, that your goal was having how many producers? Five. <laughs> And not even in July or August, it was 12. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I'm excited. <laughs> and she has, she has like 13 on, on the waiting list. Right? 
Yes. I know it, it's amazing. I, I I never, you know, I just didn't see it coming. You you kind of don't see it coming. Sometimes you just kind of get surprised by all, you know, you're like, oh, oh, really? <laughs> and then you're in it, but it's been fun. I love it. Um, she just actually produced a commercial for somebody on this show. Yes, honey. <laughs> your, your, your commercial should start playing today. Right? <laughs> for it as a commercial. Yeah, you did. And let me tell you, it is me all day long. They <laughs> they got me quickly. They they like took me, and I was like, "Wow!" Yeah. Surprise! Surprise! Not surprise me. Wowed me. Wowed me. She continues to wow me every single day. That's awesome. All right. Tina's not a hard card to read. I told her this morning. Like, yeah, you are. Uh, you're pretty. You're pretty easy to <laughs> capture what what you love. Um, let's see who who should we do next? Well, how about Miss Carrie Conley? Carrie Conley has been a regular here on the on the show. Of course, she's been a dear friend of mine for years. Um, I need to put a GPS tracker on her every time I tune in. She's in a different. She's in a different state. Carrie, I'm so excited you could be with us today. Thank you, my friend. Yes, we go way back, don't we? This, this ain't our first rodeo or our first platform of talking together side by side. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of go all over the place. You know, my biggest uh, achievement this year is not really mine to claim. Uh, my daughter had, a, had uh, my grandson on May 1st, so he's been just pure joy. And so, yes, I go back and forth between Arizona and Oklahoma City now. Um, like you were saying, Sarah, you know, I never thought that I would live in a cold climate again. So I'm signing a lease on an apartment in Oklahoma City today so that I can have a, a one foot here and one foot there. And <laughs> see what happens when you have your first grandchild. Never, ever, ever did I say. I used to live in Oklahoma. My husband and I went to college there in our first year of being married. We lived in Oklahoma City, not too far from where my daughter lives now. And when we left there a year later, I thought, that's it. I'm done with Oklahoma. <laughs> well, hello. God was laughing the whole time. But um, so, yeah. I, when you get that grandchild and it, you get, he just wraps around your little finger. Well, the problem is he's just growing too fast. I mean, I got there last Wednesday. I got back last night. And while I was there, two more teeth came in. And he wasn't sitting up on Wednesday, but he was sitting up when I when we took him someplace yesterday. I thought, okay, I can't miss another day. I mean, it's just especially right now, like one week, he's like doing this, this, and this, okay. and saying this, yeah. this, and this. Yeah, he's my little buddy. So, so yeah. So I'm a little discombobulated this morning as well. And Sarah, I can totally relate to your story. I was in uh, network marketing for many, many years, and those, those end of the month things. I remember standing at a New Year's Eve party talking until the, I could not let them off the line hitting the highest rank. So congratulations to you. That's so awesome. So, but I am, I'm going to come back on the summit and talk about vision all day long because this is the time that I think more than ever people need to get rerouted. I think you've got a new word you're using now, Angel, right? Reinventing. Yes. Um, just really taking a look at where am I going from here? What does my life really look like? Who am I? What do I want to create? And just really get anchored in a much more powerful vision and, and purpose than ever before. I think that people without vision can drift really, really easily. Um, I think we've seen a lot of that this year. And I just want to help people get that anchor and know that whatever comes next they can stay true to who they are and to their purpose. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. And I'm excited that I'm launching a new program in 2021 that I've wanted to do forever for young adults called Vision is Victory Academy, VIVA for short. So Viva. my daughter and I are working on that. I like yeah. I like that. Yeah. Super excited. Sorry, I had muted myself. I'm like, muted? <laughs> I'm like but, you, I don't think you want me to keep talking. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I had muted myself. And then uh, trying to decide, do I, do I just press the space button? Do I unmute it? Is this going to be temporary? Right? All this, you know, choices. I have choices. Michelle Faust, I love that you and I are on the same time zone right now. Um, right? Because we've been now three hours apart when we switched over. And her and I, I probably every single week would go, okay, what time is it where you are? 
daylight savings changed for some people. That changed all sorts of things for her in Arizona. Yeah, the time zone thing has just really been like a thing. So we're on the same time zone again. Yeah. You get to sleep in a little bit or yeah. do some stuff this morning yeah. before joining us. So I, I, um, I hate daylight saving time, like completely. I, I would like, you know, the rest of, of, of the country to not be on daylight saving time because Arizona is not. And going back and forth, it just, it confuses me, I have to tell you. So anyway, um, I even messed up myself today because I have a group call with authors, my authors of, of my book, and I messed up the time because of <laughs> because we were we were Arizona time noon, and then I put it out, and, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I apologize, everyone. So you know, uh, it, it it takes me almost six months to get it figured out, and then we're back on daylight saving time. So, uh, but I'm excited to be on uh, your time zone, Angel, because I used to have to get up at like 5:30 to get myself camera. Uh, ready for if I was un invited to be on the morning show. So, um, so I'm pretty I'm thrilled that I didn't have to be ready. Until the the poor California people were like, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'll remember when dur well, during daylight savings time and before you changed to be an hour later, it was 7 a.m. for me. And I'm like, I don't do 7 a.m. <laughs> You're like, what time would it be? And I said, it's 10 a.m. Eastern. You're like, that is going to be 7 o'clock my time. And I said, that's too early for you. <laughs> it's too early for everybody. Me. Poor Deanne's like, yes. yes. Um, <laughs> all right, yes, so Michelle, yes, so, I know you've, um, you've had some amazing accomplishments this year. A little reinvention on your part as well. Do you want to share what you're most proud of? Yes, again, it's, um, uh, it, it, there has been so much. So, so um, uh, if I'm going to focus on anything, uh, it will be that I never, ever dreamed that I would uh, have the title publisher. And I'm so excited. And uh, I can't believe how much I love it and how excited I am about it. Um, so uh, we published, uh, uh, the first book went out on uh Veterans Day. It was a book about um, a, a veteran who's been exposed to Agent Orange. It's a very poignant story about his journey, and um, it reached bestseller uh, status within three hours. And um, so that was very exciting. And we just finished um, the upload of book number two coming out on December 7th. It's called Magnet of Madness. So we decided that uh, Pearl Harbor Day was an appropriate day because had this gentleman been alive, he definitely would have been in Pearl Harbor because he was always he was always in the middle of chaos. In fact, he said he would probably would have been on uh, the U.S. Arizona <laughs> because that's just the way this guy is. He's got tons of stories that are just just amazing. And then we have two more books in the queue. So. It, it, that is pretty exciting, and um, it's, uh, it gives me great joy to say that I can do that because you know so many people come to me and say, I've always wanted to write a story, but I have no idea why. And uh, so I, I determined that Lemonade Legend Publishing would take them from the very beginning stages of not even knowing what to put down on paper if they need that level of help taking them all the way through uh, not only publication, but the marketing, uh, which is really the key to selling uh, anything, but especially a book, is uh, having the, the appropriate um, uh, marketing behind it. So, um, so I took them all the way through it. So that's been the most amazing thing. Um, second, most amazing thing is producing a show, two shows on the Zonda TV network. So uh, that's pretty exciting as well, because who, who would have ever thought I would call myself a TV producer? So um, a lot of, a lot of firsts um, going on. And uh, my life is full. <laughs> It's busy. It's uh, it's everything. Lots of things going on. So, um, and my hats off to so many of you, uh, 
Carrie getting my vision started in the very beginning and Angel taking that vision and just have been amazing and, and just connecting me and those wonderful things in Zandra. Yes. And then there's Miss Wendy, who um, has been on my magazine. She's going to be in the Lemonade Stand book too. Uh, and then again in the magazine. Uh, that's going to be your third. January will be your third time featured in the Lemonade Legend magazine. <laughs> a cover girl at that. So I'm definitely a monkey. <laughs> All right, Miss Dean. So that, 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 that's been 2020 for me. I can't complain. I, oh, of course not. Yeah, you've had a you've had an amazing year, Michelle. You've had an incredible year. And and I think even for all of us, like in our own lane, in our own space, uh, showing up, serving others, shining brightly. Sarah talking about compounding, right? You know, what you create is this ripple effect out into the world. And we've all, you know, got our own little, our own little space. It's not little, it's not so little, our own ways that we have, have shown up this year and the successes are showing up all around us. And I just love that we're taking a moment to celebrate those this morning. Michelle, you, you've got a lot, you absolutely got have a lot to celebrate. Deanne is joining us from the <laughs> West Coast. It is That's right. Good morning. Early, early, early in the morning. It's not 7 a.m. Thank goodness you guys changed the time because that 7 a.m. slot when we did the first Connect Summit, I have to tell you, was very brutal. Eight o'clock is more doable. Right? It's just like <laughs> yeah. that one hour. It, it helps Huge a difference. Lot. Huge difference. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just excited to be back to uh, to be part of this wonderful summit and uh, happy to be, um, you know, kind of helping people to wrap up the year end and 2020 has been a difficult year. So, uh, you know, so I'm, I help entrepreneurs and business owners, you know, build legal structures for their businesses um, and really help to empower people to take, you know, to kind of take power, take control over their legal uh, and, and build a solid structure. So, you know, so I'm excited to, uh, to be part of the program as the year ends and um, help people to look forward to 2021. And, um, and having a solid legal structure is more than just, you know, entities and contracts, which is part of what I'll be talking about, but also, you know, just having a healthy business, you know, making sure that you have like, like Wendy's talking about, and I'll talk a little bit about it as well as the importance of insurance and and you know, being able to know that your that your business is protected, so then you can take more risks because that's what we've had to do a lot of in 2020 is make a lot of quick changes, pivots, turns in our business. And if you don't have protection in place, then uh, then it's a lot more nerve wracking. Than I, I had a client who said that you know I had to do a lot of quick pivots, but I felt better knowing that at least I had the legal structures and insurance and those things into place protect myself. So, um, so I'm working on actually kind of making legal more accessible to small business owners. You know, I run a, I run a law firm in Southern California. We have five attorneys and uh, we do, you know, handle business and real estate matters. But, um, but a lot of small business owners say, I know I need to, to do these legal things, but I can't afford an attorney. So I'm going to try to do it myself, those sorts of things. So, um, so a project I had set aside at the end of 2019, I've been working on a lot this year and doing a soft launch this month on it's legally bulletproof your business is a workshop I'm putting on this month. And I'm, I've created a membership program for business owners and entrepreneurs to have access, ongoing access to me and my team. So they get their legal questions answered and, you know, some basic uh, legal, you know, education. So you know kind of what's important in your business, what to watch out for. So that's something I'm working on and I'm doing a soft launch this, this month. I've, I did a, I have a small group of founders that I've been collecting feedback, but I always open to more feedback as far as what the program should include. I'm really working hard on it this month to put together the program and the launch I'm doing just 
like it's I'm I'm I'm, I'm you know trying not to be a perfectionist right and want to do everything the first time so I just keep telling myself it's an experiment where I'm just experimenting you know letting go of perfection a little bit uh to get to get something done so that's what I've really been focused on is working on the launch and uh, creating a really great program for business owners to have access to legal information as well as other experts insurance estate planning you know that those sorts of things so I've been busy I love that you decided to do a membership for that because I think it's so important. I think the last time you spoke, it really was eye-opening for me to see all the things you needed to do as a business owner, things that a lot of people are like, oh, I didn't think that you needed that for a home-based business or anything like that. So it's so good. So if you guys are, you know, small business owners, you definitely want to, you know, watch her and, you know, reach out to her because there's so many things that she's going to be able to teach you. Um, to do that. Sarah, I don't think we asked you what you're going to be speaking on. What expertise are you going to be telling all of our amazing people how to be billionaires? <laughs> no, you know what? First of all, I am so inspired. Well, I, you know, what's interesting. It's, 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 I always tell people you, you have to be willing to ask, right? In this past year, I asked and I'm like, all right, God, like I really need some incredible women that walk into my life that help me level up. And I'm just really inspired by all of you guys, because one of the things that I learned is that if you're the smartest girl in the room, you're in trouble. Yeah. And I know that being on here, I am not the smartest and I'm excited. And that gets me excited because I know that I'm going to learn, I'm going to get better. And so just hearing what each woman is going to be covering on here, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to learn some good stuff on here that is going to be applicable into my life, whether it be on the business side or personal side or with raising my kids or being a better wife. Oh, I think she, she froze. Hmm. Yep, she did. If nobody else is frozen, <laughs> I was seeing if it was you. <laughs> like, let me move. Is it me? Is it me or is it just her? No, it's just her. Is it, is it me? Oh, there you go. You're, you're back. You're oh back. my gosh. Okay. So basically I was saying is I'm just excited to be part of this summit. It's my first summit. So it's my very first one. And, um, you know, I just, I love how it just, things just fall in your lap. You know what I mean? When you're just not looking and you're just doing what you need to be doing each day to get better. And, you know, I do want to share a milestone. I know I shared one earlier, but, um, you know, I, I think it's important too. I know a lot of us, we all have things that we know that we should do, or more importantly, we say, you know what, I stink at that. And instead of saying, I stink at that, say, hey, okay, so I might not be great at this now, but how can I get great at it? And so I made that decision like 90 days ago in regards to my business. I, I feel like I am great when it comes to building teams and organizations, but when it comes to, even though I'm in a sales business, I do not feel like I'm great at sales. Uh, and so I, I used to tell myself that, hey, Sarah, like you're just not good at that, whatever. But like I hit my milestone this month where I personally sold $10,000 of product and I broke through on that. I said, you know what? I'm not going to just say, oh, I'm just not great at that. Like I'm going to figure out how, how do I get great at it? Mm -hmm. And I think that's so important for all of us. We have those things in our life that we just tell ourselves we're not good at. Well, no. Okay. Well, that's fine that you say that, but like why don't you just change that? Mm -hmm. And so for me, that that's a big milestone. So I'm really proud of myself. Um, but I'm going to talk about communication, how to become an amazing communicator. Um, I think it's really important. I think it's definitely under uh, valued. And I think it's because people don't work hard enough on it. And so I'm going to talk about 20 ways to become an amazing communicator, uh, whether you're building a business, whether you're building a sales team, whether you've got kids, whether you're, you know, in a relationship, like all those things will be applicable for you to just become great. And um, I'm excited to share just really simple things. I feel like that people just need um, just simple things they can take away and they can apply immediately into their life and see drastic results. I like that because especially right now when everybody's texting and texting is such a miscommunication because you read it differently than the way the person wrote it especially if you're like me and you don't put commas and exclamation marks and periods <laughs> just all together they're like huh yeah. um, 
So it, it is a lot of miscommunication. So I, I like that. I, I enjoy that. But we have to go to commercial break really quick. So we can um, spotlight our sponsors of the Angel and Tina Morning Show who keep us going every single day. Um, we have a couple of people. Well, we, have, we have one person on here right now, our beautiful, our wonderful producer. Go ahead, Angel. <laughs> All right, yes, we do love we do love having these Connect Summits every single every single month. I do want to mention that our Connect Summit is sponsored by Christy McKay with Venn Negotiation for the third month in a row. She has come on as our fabulous sponsor. She couldn't join us here this morning. She's off doing probably a celebrity interview or hobnobbing with influencers. Yeah, the girl is interview Julianne Michaels. So she, you know, we're just two little people for her. She is a rock star right now. So we're super grateful for Christy McKay and Ben Negotiation for being the sponsor of our Connect Summit. The Angel and Tina Morning Show is also sponsored by some fabulous folks. You guys got to hear from Zondra Evans this morning. She is a speaker on the Connect Summit. Many of her producers are guests here on the Angel and Tina Morning Show. We are globally and nationally and internationally syndicated on all those digital streaming platforms that you love to watch your favorite on-demand shows. She's an award-winning producer, and you can find the Angel and Tina Morning Show on anywhere, on any platform, any device, and I just love that, and I love that she is still here giving back. If you've ever thought about having your own TV show, maybe you do a podcast, you've got a YouTube channel, you do content on social media, maybe it's time to up it just a little bit and start your own t television program. Schedule a discovery call with her team by going to her website, beonztv.com. That's B-E-O-N-Z-T-V.com. Bliss by the Lake Boutique is our clothing sponsor. They've got some really adorable stuff for the holidays and for, the, for your winter wardrobe. And you know it might just be time to get something fresh and new. They bring in new inventory every single week. Follow them online at Bliss by the Lake Boutique. And Sonic VA is our go-to. If you are feeling overwhelmed, way too much on your to-do list, and especially when it comes to putting out fresh new videos, they've got a brand new video service, but you can hire a virtual assistant or a team of VAs. When you go to sonicva.com, they're gonna give you a 10% discount off your first 40 hours of virtual assistant service. Go to sonicva.com, S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com. And if you want help putting out fabulous, I mean, fabulous videos, check out their VA service, their video, video assistant service. That's sonicva.com. Zondra TV, Bliss by the Lake Boutique, Sonic VA, thank you so much for sponsoring the morning show. Follow them on social media. Tell them you heard about us, heard about them through us. And then make sure you sign up to join us next week for our 10th Virtual Connect Summit. These are some of the fabulous speakers. Then Negotiation is our fantastic sponsor. You and you believe that this is our 10th summit? This is our 10th summit. But we, I, don't know, I don't know if you guys know what the story was way back in the day. It feels like years ago, but it was only like 10 months ago. I was in the Tampa airport on my way to San Diego for a photo shoot and I call up Angel and she was like, it's snowing here in Colorado. It was like 14 inches of snow. And I was like, girl, all of my speaking engagements are getting canceled. Boom, boom, like all left and right. She's like, I know mine too, mine too. And I'm like, well, there's gotta be, we, we gotta do something. And she's like, but well, what are we gonna do? Like, what? there's nothing we could do. It's just, you know, coronavirus. And we decided to put together the Connect Virtual Summit. And we decided this in like a, it was like a two hour back and forth texting conversation. And right before I got on the plane, she's going live. Hey guys, this is Angel Tessie. Tina Torres and I are gonna host a virtual summit and it's gonna be March 26th, a two day summit. We put a, a speaker thing out there. I think we probably got 50 people saying, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. And we ended up having how many speakers? Like 28 speakers in two days. And let me tell you, we would, we would never do a two-day summit again <laughs> because just like Sarah said last night, she went to bed, we <laughs> went to bed because it was hard putting together a summit for two days and having all that energy and stuff. And we had some amazing speakers that came on and just 
gave so much content. And since then, we have had some really, really pretty big speakers. We've had <clears throat> somebody's favorite, Les Brown, on as one of our main speakers. And, you know, it's just so, so amazing that just 10 months ago, we were like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? You know, can I, jump, can I jump in? Of course. Real quick, because I was one of your first speakers, but you remember your, your first connect was in March. Like yeah. you guys were, I have to say, maybe the first, the first virtual summit I'd ever even heard of, let alone been a part of. One. Yeah. I mean, you guys were, tur you turned it so fast, so fast. And, and, you know, now there've been so many virtual summits and conferences and everything like that, but you guys were truly, truly innovators. So I just have to say, you know, when you, you're right, Tina, I'd almost kind of forgot about just how quickly you guys turned that around. I mean, it was March 26. It was in the month of March when yeah. everything kind of started to hit and you're right. Everything was being canceled. So yeah. you guys are amazing. The and amazing. I think that call was made on the 15th. So it was like, it took us 10 yeah. days. We did this in 10 days, like literally from idea to execution. And you would and have was, never been able to do that on a regular summit. You know, yeah, we, and, we talked about how, how amazing it was to be able to bring all of these speakers together. You guys didn't have to travel. You could come in from wherever you were. You could say yes to it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you were gonna try and put together an in-person event and you had to get a venue, and you had to sell tickets and you had to fill seats. We had, I think almost 2000 people watch the first Connect Summit. And so many people that would never be able to. You know, we had stay at home moms who had two or three kids at home who wouldn't have been able to travel to an event and stay for three days or four days. We had people who were working, who were, you know, had us on their phone and still working at the same time watching us who would not have been able to travel to a, a, an event, a event like that. Well, so, and we recognize that not only did the speakers all were losing out on their events that they were speaking at, but more importantly, all the people who are going to be attending these events, they were losing out on being able to you know, connect with these speakers, the networking, the engagement that happens, the, the edgy, all of that that happens when you attend a live event. So this didn't, I mean, it might've impacted the speakers because this was their livelihood, but I was thinking, how about all these other folks who were depending on us to show up and to teach them and to serve them and to deliver. And so that's how the name Connect became the title of the summit. Let's bring people together and give them a chance to connect with each other. And in a time where right now it was so confusing, so, I mean, so challenging. Like, what does this mean for the world? Never did we think we would still be here 10, 10 months later doing, doing this again. Um, but I it think that so is- It was so powerful when we did do the two-day event. We got so much great, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, advice or what is it called? I can't think of the word, but afterwards, and they're like, you know, you guys have such great energy together. And that's how I'm going to use your word angel. That's how the angel and Tina morning show spawned, <laughs> spawned off. And we were going to just do it until we went back to normal April 15th, because April 15th was our, you know, back to normal. And then they kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And we we're like, okay, well, we'll continue to do it. And then I think in August we had our 100th episode and we did the A&T awards and then it just, I mean, it just kept. But it's no, it's no coincidence that you see the success that, that, that everybody is having because we were those business first responders. I think Zandra, you, you titled it that, right? We showed up, um, we weren't sitting back waiting, wondering and worrying. We locked arms together and we found a way to make things happen and um, to deliver, to to find like, okay, it, we can't do it like that, but we can figure something out. And we did it and we did it together. I'm watching the clock and I'm very, yeah, we're like coming up on the end. I wanna make sure that every one of you are, have a chance to give your call to action, tell people how they can connect with you, how they can follow up with you and, and stay connected with you before they you know plug in and see you again next week. So Dr. Wendy, what's the best 
place for people to follow you and make sure that they are enrolled in that open enrollment. Okay. And like I said, if you want to be wrapped, if you're not wrapped, then you give me a call or text the word tech, uh, talk, I'm sorry, T-A-L-K to 770-796-4944. And you'll get a complimentary 20-minute uh, strategy session to kind of discuss, you know, your situation, whether you have your health, uh, your business, your finances, your retirement, if everything is wrapped or what's not wrapped, then we can help you get it wrapped. So. Thank you. Text. Okay, text talk. Say talk. that number one more time, Wendy. A L K to 770-796-4944. Okay, awesome. Um, Sarah, how about you? Um, I think the I think the biggest thing is that I think everyone knows that people are looking to build a business online. Um, I think most people they want to learn how to actually monetize being on social media. And that's what I teach them how to do. And so if you want to connect with me, I'm all over social media, Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. You'll find me there. Um, you can also just simply go to Sarah and Tony. So Sarah with an H. So S-A-R-A-H and then A-N-D and my husband, Tony, T-O-N-Y.com. You can just go to our website. We actually build a business together, which is really cool. And uh, we can get connected over there as well. So lots of goodies on the uh, Facebook group for you too, or on the um, website, I should say. And she gives a lot of amazing freebies out. I'm just like, I always go in there and it says, you already have these things. I'm like, I want more, I want more. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I know, Faust, what about you, Dar? Oh, are, are you using products? I, yeah, I'm three days in drinking my collagen, so. Oh my gosh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I a spoonful of chocolate every morning. <laughs> I yeah, the blackberry. I got the I got the new flavor. Oh, yeah. I just got the blackberry. I just got. Yeah. I haven't I'm, popped it open yet. Yeah, I love it. I'm proud to be a collagen slinger, so that's what I call myself. <laughs> I got. I don't know if you guys see my little Facebook. Then she she sent me a a, a collagen addict hat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm a collagen addict. Gotta like, have fun. I love it. Gotta I love have fun. It. <laughs> All right, Sandra. Michelle, oh, I was oh. gonna do Michelle. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm, I I I was louder. Zandra. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've given mine already. If you would like to know more about streaming technology and how to monetize that and how to become a producer, or better yet, just be interviewed about your business, then go to be on ZTV, B E O N Z T V dot com and schedule your complimentary discovery call. All right, now, Michelle. <laughs> and you're muted too. Sorry about that. I also am on uh, multiple places you can find me, but really the easiest is to go to my website, which is uh, lemonadelegend.com, and uh, you'll find a where you can contact me or um, send me an email, um, Michelle at lemonadelegend.com. So simple, easy, um, and uh, I'd love to hear from you. So um, give me a give me a holler. And then uh, Deanne, how do you want people to get a hold of you? So I have a uh, a free ebook, the top five legal mistakes small business owners make. And you can get that by, uh, if you text bizlaw, B-I-Z-L-A-W, to 26786, 26786. Um, so that's like a high level, uh, you know, little gift. And then also you could just follow me on Instagram at Chase Law Group, and you can find me there, Chase Law Group. I love that. And Miss Carrie Conley. Yeah, so I'm talking all things vision. So I want to also give a gift if you text the word guide, G-U-I-D-E, all in caps to 26786. You'll get my ebook on how to get your vision written and get started on that. And you can also go to my website to see the other things that I have coming up and the launch of Viva coming in January. And it's just carrieconley.com. I like that Viva. Me too. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs>
I used to have a big event every January live that Angel used to MC, and we had a big party the first, the end of the first day with a DJ, uh, balloon art, Mr. And Mrs. Viva. It was called Viva La Vision. You oh. may or may not be seeing a virtual party coming up called Viva La Vision. Oh, I like <laughs> that. Yeah, sounds like a television show. <laughs> uh, Viva La Vision. Well, I want to. I want to have it at my pool, my new pool. I want to have a pool party. <laughs> she just wants and... to come to her new house. Girl, I'm, I'm so, all about it. I'm so ready. I am so ready. Yeah. So, think good thoughts for for us, and not for the other guy. Um, we just want him to change his mind. Like that's like nothing bad to happen. Nothing bad to happen. We just yeah. want him to change his yeah. mind. We just want him to change his mind. Like, it's like not his so real life. On Friday morning. <laughs> yeah, this is not his house. This is Angel's house. Why would I move into Angel's house? Like that would just be dumb. So, yeah, that's all. We, we just want him to change his mind. Um, but we know that you know God's got this. This is not my problem. Right? God's in the background. This, this, he has solved the whole God ordained. Yeah. The, entire thing like. the whole thing the whole thing has been god breathed and so this is god's miracle we're, we're saying that for sure well we are today starting uh, an, an a new a, just a new well i don't even know it's a program but it's more than that it, we're calling it entrepreneurs of reinvention we have been surrounded by so many success stories this year we have seen so many people restart reinvent redo because it's not the same. There's no, there's no way it's going to ever go back to the way it was, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just different. And we have seen so much success. We've seen so many new businesses start, launch, grow from kitchen tables, from garages, from, you know, tables in the corner of their bedroom. This is this such prime opportunity right now. And we were going to kick this off in January, but I had this just big reach um, into my heart that said, let's start it on December 1. So starting today in our Media Mastery Facebook group, we're calling it Entrepreneurs of Reinvention, 100 days of, of hope, support, encouragement, stories of experts and authors who are gonna come on and inspire you. And we're gonna do it together. So December 1 through the middle of March, we're gonna have reinvention days, restart days. There's just gonna be a lot of fun and you can just join us on in our Facebook group media mastery online and it's free to play with us but it'll cost you everything right it'll cost you everything to go all in for your dreams as it should so let's dream and let's dream big together i love that um, and then don't forget to join us on tuesday for the connect virtual summit go to eventbrite and get your ticket it is a free ticket we are going live um tuesday from 1 p.m to 7 p.m eastern I'm Tina Torres, your client retention expert, otherwise known as the gratitude specialist. And if you're struggling with attracting the right clients, knowing how to connect to them, or even if you just don't know how to convert them into clients, I have a complimentary guide that I hope you grow your audience organically online and offline, connect and nurture those uh, relationships authentically, and then take those relationships and turn them into paying clients. You can grab your free guide if you text the word connection to 26786. That is the word connection to 26786. We are Angel and Tina on the Angel and Tina Morning Show. These are our amazing Connect Summit speakers. 10, come and see us on Tuesday. We will see you guys tomorrow, but also see you guys next week. Have a fabulous day, guys.